This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long, and now for the action. Good evening. They might have done quite a bit of refurbishment work on this stadium in recent seasons, but it still has a refreshingly old-fashioned quality. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Ibrahima Konate in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Luis Diaz out wide. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And this confrontation is underway. Could be dangerous. That is how to keep it out of the net. Just wanted to get it out of there. And threading it through. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Mbimbo. And he quarter the attack with a masterful tackle. And support available. Carvalho. That's a good-looking ball. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Well, that's so tight, isn't it? But on this occasion, he doesn't get the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Jota. This is Salah. Very quick thinking there. Lewis Potter. Looking for the right angle. Keen Lewis Potter. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Corner kick forthcoming. And taken short. And angling it back. Oh, big opportunity! Can they put it away? 
Explosive attacking qualities can be so important. Look no further than Mo Salah. Well, I love watching him play. He's so creative, particularly in the top third of the pitch. Let's hope he performs well here. Mbermo. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. A very effective clearance. Running with the ball confidently. Crucial piece of defending. And a very good challenge. Well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. Oh, excellent timing stop. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And ably dealt with. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Favouring the short one. An attack full of promise. Bonatti. Here's Salah. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. Vimo. Smuggled away. Alexis McAllister. Now Mo Salah. Liverpool couldn't keep it. Pinnock. Brentford doing well to regain possession. Vitali Janelt. Keen Lewis Potter. And threading it through. Well, from close range, not ideal. So Bosloy. 
Salah. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Mikael Damsgaard. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, half-time fast approaching with Liverpool on top. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen from them? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Lewis Potter. Carvalho. Keen Lewis Potter. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Offside the decision. Oh, nice ball over the top. Well, possibilities in the centre. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. Well, a highly fruitful first 45 from the point of view of Mo Salah. And Stuart, I know he caught your eye. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Shade. Carvalho and Liverpool regaining possession here on the offensive using all his defensive acumen to cut it out good through ball Jota, a glorious chance, and it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Christopher Ayer might be able to set up the chance. He takes aim. What a block! That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And clears the danger. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it could be on for him here. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Nathan Collins. Christopher Ayer. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in.
Who can they pick out? Keeper did his job to begin with. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. And the goalkeeper sees yellow for his intervention on that occasion. Can they make it 3-0? And a timely penalty save! Well, those stats tell you everything. Liverpool have been excellent, and unless something changes, this could get embarrassing. Janelt. Nice weight on the pass. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Salah. So Bosloy. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh, last ditch defending at its very finest. Carvalho just sliding back a bit to get on the ball. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And foiled by Van Dyke. Time for a change then. And taken short. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. But I think it's fair to say, Stuart, Mo Salah is having quite a lot to say for himself out there on the pitch. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. Andrew Robertson. And that's great work to keep it in play. And quick thinking defensively. Jensen. Keen Lewis Potter. Vimo. Carvalho. Collins. And the emphasis is on creativity. And sloppy in possession from Brentford. Diaz. Shot up. Opportunity it is. There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. So the action underway again. It's all going Liverpool's way. It's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. Carvalho and back with Mbemo and foiled by Van Dijk McAllister good work from Brentford to win the ball back into the advanced position good idea Lewis Potter Great block. <laughs> Elects to go short.
Joaquin Lewis Potter. And in the right position to read it. Mo Salah. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Opportunity. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, he's certainly not alone. Liverpool's sloppy in possession. Mikael Damsgaard. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. So, Bosloy. Luis Diaz. Just made sure nothing came of that. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. To be replaced by number 30, Mads Rowerson. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, in my view, they were the better team. They dominated possession and created more chances, but they just couldn't make it count. It's a disappointing result for them. Another more than effective night's work for Mo Salah. Your thoughts on his performance? Yeah, he played well, scored a good goal and linked up the play, but he'll be disappointed he didn't score from the spot. In the end, though, it doesn't really matter.